One year ago today, the first COVID vaccines arrived in Texas. A week later, Governor Greg Abbott, State Health Services Commissioner Dr. John Hellerstadt, and other Texas leaders rolled up their sleeves to show Texans how it's done. Today, DSHS touted over 37 and a half million doses have now been injected into Texans. More than 16 million eligible Texans have been fully vaccinated. Well, that is good news. Texas does not even rank in the top half of states for percentage of people vaccinated. Vaccinated. Texas ranking 29th. The top five include Vermont, Rhode Island, Maine, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. All of those states are more than 70% fully vaccinated. Texas is sitting at around 56% now fully vaccinated. San Marcos Consolidated ISD previously worked to increase the vaccination rate among their staff. The district is now offering an additional $100 for employees who get their booster shot. KXAN Jayla Washington shows us why this is a proactive step leaders feel they need to take. Here at Desavala Elementary, you hear kids singing and having fun inside of classrooms again. Now, teachers want to do everything they can to keep it that way. Putting others before me was the first intention. Lauren Carranza recently got her COVID-19 booster shot. Happy to know San Marcos CISD is encouraging others to do so too, offering a new $100 incentive. With more vaccinated people contracting the virus, Yvette Staley wanted greater protection. If I'm going to um, be consistent in the classroom, I can't be consistent if I'm not there. After the first 250 $50 incentive was collected by employees back in October. SMCISD found 82% are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Miguel Arredondo on the school board is hopeful those same staff members will get their booster shot. Having a vaccinated workforce um, you know, slows down the spread. Since students returned to in-person classes this school year, SMCISD has only had to shut down four classrooms because of COVID-19 outbreaks. Arredondo feels encouraging boosters is a proactive step to keep classrooms safe. COVID-19 has disproportionately impacted communities that look like ours. Even though you may be scared and it's not something you you know, want to do, I should say, do your research. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. The San Marcos CISD currently has three active COVID-19 cases district-wide. That's among staff and students. District leaders tell us the deadline for employees to get their booster to be eligible for the incentive will be sometime in the spring. Last August, Austin ISD started offering staff a one-time incentive of $250 for getting vaccinated. The district told us today more than 80% of their employees took advantage of that cash and just under 40% of staff members also signed up for the COVID-19 sick leave option, co-op rather. It allows employees to donate eight hours of their own leave, giving them access to five COVID leave days of full pay if they ended up needing it.